Welcome back, it's shotgun day on the range today. Today we're going to be looking at a Mossberg 500. This one has got an 18 half inch barrel. This one is a Persuader model, but I'm not about tempted to put that pistol grip on here and break my wrist. This is the way I leave it. This is the way it stays loaded in my house, and I love it. It's nice and lightweight. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Today we're going to be shooting federal field and target loads and I want to show you one thing I like about these. Even though they're low brass, they're actually brass so it makes cycling it and pumps and semi-autos a lot smoother. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. And that is how you clear off the paint on a metal target. Let's go ahead and load it back up. Okay, we got her loaded back up for the second time. Let's give her another shot here. This is a fun gun to shoot. I love shooting this thing. It's nice and lightweight, so it makes it kick a little bit harder, but it's not really that bad. You can always put a limb saver on it and stuff if it recoils for you too much. So let's load it up again, and this time I'll show you how it loads. One thing I like about the Mossbergs is they don't have a lifter like the Remington 870s and uh, shotguns like that. So you just stick your shell in, pop them on up in there. Makes it look nice and easy. No lifter to get your thumb stuck on and cut open your thumb. And this does hold five shots in it. Okay, we got her loaded up. Let's go ahead and shoot her again. Now I got my target all nice and ready for a paint again. Sanded it right off. Now one thing I have added to this is I got one of these clamp-on true glow sights. I do like that. It makes it a lot easier to pick up and shoot it. On the Mossbergs, you got the uh, pump release right here. Pops right out. Now with me being a lefty, I like it right there because it makes it easy for me to hit with either my trigger finger or my middle finger. Another thing I like about the Mossbergs because I'm left-handed is the safety is right here so I can hit it with my thumb. I have shot 870s before, but I prefer this setup being a lefty. The pump action is nice and smooth. You got to love it. Well, if you can see, I got three water jugs over there. Let's go set them up and have some fun with that. The first one we're gonna shoot is a Hornady two and three quarter Varmint Express number four buck. We're gonna give that a try and see what it does. Woo, I got a shower on that one. That feels good out here in this heat. Let's put another one up and try it again. Okay, on this one, we're gonna shoot a Rio two and three quarter inch double lot buckshot. I got a bunch of these and I think these are a cool round. Let's go shoot it and see what this one does. All right, I got one more round left. Let's go set it up and we'll shoot that. And the last round I got for the water jug is a Remington one ounce slug. This ought to be interesting. Let's go shoot it. <laughs> that is so much fun. That's the great thing about pump shotguns like this with a smooth bore. 
You can shoot bird shot, number four shot, double op buck, triple op buck, slugs, whatever you want to put in it. There's a uh, dragon's breath, which I wouldn't mind trying out. Okay, now let's take a look at those jugs. This is what the number four buckshot did. I like that for uh, a hunting round, and I actually keep that in uh, my gun for uh, home protection. Got double hot buck. Tore it nice, tore it up real good. And then we got the slug. Man, that thing tore that up. Well, that's all I got for you today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next one.